Groundbreaking research is set to help doctors diagnose a dangerous heart condition which can easily be overlooked. The potentially life-saving work sponsored by Adelaide's Hospital Research Foundation. For the past three years, Sue Edom has lived with constant chest pain. I can't do anything anymore. I'm basically couch bound. The 51-year-old first sought medical help in 2012 when she started having heart pain and numbness in her arm, but tests didn't lead to diagnosis. And then they said, we can't find anything wrong with you, you need to go to your GP. Three months later, doctors discovered she had a potentially fatal condition where arteries in the heart spasm, disrupting blood flow and increasing the risk of heart attack. Coronary microvascular dysfunction is more prevalent in women. We don't know if it's because of a sex difference and that's one of the things being studied. Heart conditions involving artery spasms are difficult to diagnose because they don't involve blockages and aren't visible on angiograms. And the microscopic blood vessels are about half, uh, less than half a millimetre in diameter, so we can't see them with any of our conventional uh, tests. Professor John Beltrami is part of an international team of experts sponsored by the Hospital Research Foundation, working on a checklist for doctors. It's based upon the uh, symptoms that the patient's uh, having, um, what their cardiograph shows and then what the angiogram uh, shows, as well as undertaking a specific test where we try and induce spasm in the large arteries. It's hoped the new guidelines will make it easier for doctors to diagnose this heart condition and will also lead to the development of potential treatments in the future. When you have diagnostic uncertainty, you will have therapeutic uncertainty. Jessica Stanley, Nine News.